Okay, we'll call it to order this January the 9th, 2017 reorganization meeting of the Franklin County Commission. Roll call. Commissioner Waymeyer? Present. Vice Chair Renaud? Present. Chair Howard? Present. Commissioner Oglesby? Present. Commissioner Dunn? Present. Okay, if you'll all stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance, and please remain standing for the invocation that will be led by Pastor Scott Dickinson of the Michigan Valley United Methodist Church. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Let's pray. Lord, as we embark on this uh, new journey, uh, 2017, um, nobody's been here before. And so, Lord, as we come to this time of the year, I think it's a good time to have, like we're doing today, to take time for inventory, take time to uh, reinvest, to um, just to get back into things and take a look at what we can do in this year. And I pray that those things would come out and that we'd go forward with our community, with our county, and uh, that we'd proceed ahead as a great place that we are, a great place to live, a great place to raise our kids and our grandkids. Lord, continue to be with our county officials, be with them as they make decisions for us, and Lord, as they lead us forward. Lord, thank you for the community we live. We pray for those who right now can be, maybe are hurting from losses and different things. Um, we just pray for them. We ask that you give them comfort. And Lord, we just ask that you help us as we look forward to a, a, a expect, to expect some great things in this year. And, Lord, may we just find those as we go along this year. And we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. And if I may, I would like to just share this with you. What do you get for the new year? I expect enough happiness to keep you sweet, enough trials to keep you strong, enough sorrow to keep you human, enough hope to keep you happy, enough failure to keep you humble, enough success to keep you eager, enough friends to give you comfort, enough wealth to meet your needs, enough enthusiasm to make you look toward tomorrow, and enough determination to make each day better than the day before. Amen. Thanks, Scott. <coughs> Michael Young. Okay, at this time we'll have the adjournment of the current commission, side die. We will have the swearing in of the newly elected officials by 4th District Judge Douglas P. Whitteman, and then we will reconvene and complete the uh, rest of the organizational meeting. We actually will do this when Joy gets back. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Judge. I think I'm ready, but I think we're waiting on some paper. Worse than you guys that got reelected, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Why are we counting your votes? Oh. 
The last thing I thought, I hope this all goes smooth. <laughs> <laughs> This is true, very true. It's okay, Rick. I know you're on the clock. You, you've already you've punched in, haven't you? Enjoy. <laughs> Have what we need. We can, uh, however, if anybody wants to do theirs individually, we can do that. Otherwise, we can do them. I guess it's your custom to, over here to do them in group. So you let me know. Is that how you want to do it? I'll find it. Does that work? Does that work for you? All right, very well. All right, I've uh, these are generic, so I will uh, approach it accordingly. But I'll tell you, I'm I'm tickled to be here today, tickled to be part of this process, having spent most of my career running and winning elections. I just know how significant this day is. Each of you are uh, representing not only your friends and neighbors that elected you, but also your enemies and strangers. So. <laughs> It's a grand accomplishment. Each of you, if you'd raise your right hand, please. Do each of you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Kansas and faithfully discharge the duties of the office to which you have been elected? If so, I do. All right, thank you very much. When you're gonna to need to fill these out, this piece of paper actually ends up being more important than this. Uh, <laughs> but have you got, an, are you happy with your photos? You got everything you need? I think All right. so. Very good, thank you. All right, I'm gonna hand these to you. They need to be filled out with your name as well as your office and then sign them. And then I'll uh, subscribe them at the bottom of their blank page. I'll get one after we're done here. I have to sign it before I leave. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Okay, we'll go ahead and reconvene the organizational meeting. I'll uh, get us through item number one, and then my replacement can take it from there. So the first item would be to select a commission chairperson for the upcoming year. The way we'll do this, we'll take a nomination, 
for that position. A second, we'll vote on it. If the vote carries, that's the way it'll be. If it doesn't, we'll start the process again. So at this time, do I have a nomination for Mr. Chairman? Chairperson? I'd like to nominate Colton Waymar to be the next chairperson for the commission. Okay, I have a nomination for Commissioner Waymar. Do I have a second? Second it. I have a motion and a second. Janet? Commissioner Waymar? Yes, I'll do it. Commissioner Ogles? Yes. <laughs> Commissioner Howard? Yes. Commissioner Oglesby? Yes. Commissioner Dunn? Yes. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Second item would be to consider selection of a commission vice chairperson for the ensuing year. Are you interested in getting ready? Doesn't matter to me at all. Doesn't matter. I'll make the motion that Commissioner Renaud stay at the vice chair. Second. Yes. Commissioner Howard? Yes. Commissioner Oglesby? Yes. Commissioner Dunn? Yes. Chair Waymire? Yes. Third item would be consider establishing meeting dates and times for the regular meetings and study sessions of the Board of Commissioners. Is everyone happy with the uh, current times and, and days that we meet? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to keep the times the same as we're doing now. I'll second it. Commissioner Howard? Yes. Commissioner Oglesby? Yes. Commissioner Dunn? Yes. Commissioner Renaud? Yes. Chair Waymer? Yes. Fourth item is to consider the appointment of uh, commissioners to boards. They're listed below. Historically, some of them have been uh, performed by certain positions, but um, this is the time to discuss. Uh, the first is the uh, ECAN Advisory Council. Um, this one, so to speak, is up for grabs. It was previously held by Commissioner uh, Harris. I wouldn't mind doing ECAN. Okay. Uh, there's a... There's one on the first page, um, ECAAA. Yeah. AAA. All right, yeah. what's that? Area, uh, area on Aging. Okay. How about Area on Aging? I'll do that one, too. You'll do that one, too? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll keep you busy. Um, CVB, now that's one... I've been on that board, but that board will be non-existent, right? I unless would, a, unless I mean, the chamber creates a new board, advisory board or something. Maybe we hold off on that one? I would. All right. Um, the Lake Region Solid Waste Authority representative, who does that now? I think at this time, Mr. Stottlemyre has been representing us on that, and uh, last year he continued to stay on it. It's not really a voting position, correct? And Mr. Oglesby would like to know a little more if he want to vote on something, kind of know what he's voting yeah. on. That'd be great. This board was put together about 20 years ago, and it was uh, established uh, by the Lake Region Resource Conservation and Development. And then about 10 years ago, uh, they broke away and uh, now have their own board and their own coordinator and so forth. Okay, they just uh, hired a new coordinator just as of December 31st, Colleen Weiss, who used to be with Miami County uh, employee now. They have a, a Colleen uh, Lopez, and she's just a new hire and just started in that. And uh, on that board is two people from each county. Uh, the, the normally, like John Haight is a representative and I've been a representative for the last 16 years. And uh, in the beginning, there used to be a few commissioners on this board, but in the last six or seven years, uh, there hasn't been any. In fact, I was the last one when I, three years ago, was the last commissioner actually to be serving on the board. And it just oversees uh, the solid waste and transfer stations and does the reporting of KDHE and the education to all the schools in the area and, and that basic. Used to be a lot of grants, but you know what happened to the grants. Uh, but the new person we just took on, uh, she does have a good grant background. We hope she's going to uh, put it. And it's the six counties. It's a Coffey, Lynn, Anderson, Miami, Osage, and Franklin. Uh, they meet once every three months now, and they move it around to different counties. So, 
right. Are we happy continuing sending uh, Commissioner, or, uh, Mr. Stottlemyre as a representative, or is anyone interested in this and like to do it themselves? I'm for staying as it is. I second that. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, neighborhood revitalization. This is something I'd served on in the past, but we look down the list. I think there's only a handful of position six uh, boards left, so I'd be happy to give it to somebody else to get involved. This is uh, just with the city of Ottawa, right? Uh, uh, it's the city of Ottawa's program. The, the school, all the taxing districts in the city, so the county, the city, and the school districts send representatives. Um, uh, they cursory look over the applications, and then once they feel that they meet the uh, credentials of the program they're forwarded on to each individual board um, for uh, approval you'd be interested in that one Rick that's fine yeah all right uh, Chamber of Commerce I believe that's Roy right now I would uh, let's see if our vice chairman would like to be on that that's usually traditionally we have the vice chairman on the Chamber of Commerce and the Chairman on Economic Development. Looking down the list, are you going to want to be on Wellsville's chamber too? Yeah. And and I, I currently have the RC and D board, and I was also on the FCDC board, which is normally the chair. So Colt will be taking that. So I don't mind staying on the RC and D board, but I also probably it should break out where we each have a, a couple. So. Commissioner Renaud wants to stay on the uh, wealth bill. That would make sense. I can take the chamber. It's okay. I may regard him have it as well. All right. I think currently we have eight according to your list. So um, two of you are only going to serve on one. Sure. And well, I go to Rantoul and, and I go to Lane and I go to Wellsville. So I've got those city meetings too. So I, if I do the Wellsville chamber, that's fine with me. And so, okay. so I have left that I don't have someone for Ottawa Chamber of Commerce um, board meetings uh, and Ransom Memorial Hospital board and RC&D board. Okay. So um, it doesn't matter. Do you want the, the chamber board or, or not? It doesn't matter, Rick, whatever you want. Whichever one you... Let's have, like let's have Rick do it. Yeah, <laughs> Rick or Rick Richard. Oh, They're okay. the same. Richard, yeah. Serve on the <laughs> Ottawa Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And um, the hospital, that's something I've served on in the past. If somebody has a, I guess, a neat passion to, to serve on that board, but um, I guess because of some of the technical natures, I'll warn you, it'll probably be a year or two before you understand everything they're talking about between all their funding streams and if you're interested, the acronyms. I, uh, just I enjoy it. Yeah, okay. I'd be like willing this. to do that. Okay. Uh, which leaves resource conservation and development. And I'm currently on it and would not mind staying there. All right. Just making sure everybody has a board appointment. Can I, can I repeat these back to you guys before you do. make a motion and second on them? I have um, on East Central Kansas area on a agency on aging, I have Commissioner Dunn. Um, ECAN board, I have Commissioner Dunn. Um, we're going to hold off on appointing anyone to um, the convention board until we find out what the Chamber of Commerce is going to do as far as um, a board. Um, Lake Region Solid Waste Authority representative will be um, former Commissioner Stottlemyre. Um, the Neighborhood Revitalization, Rick Oglesby. Uh, Ottawa Chamber of Commerce board means Rick Oglesby. The Franklin County Development Board um, will be um, Colt Waymeyer. Ransom Memorial Hospital Board, Colt Waymeyer, um, RC and D Board will be Rick Howard, and the Wellsville Chamber of Commerce will be uh, Randy Renaud. Right. Does that sound like what we all had in mind? And so I'd look for a motion to approve. I'll make, make the motion to approve the appointments to the boards as listed. Second. Commissioner Oglesby? Yes. Commissioner Dunn? Yes. Commissioner Renaud? Yes. Commissioner Howard? Yes. Chair Waymeyer? Yes. All right. Our fifth item would be considering scheduling a study session to review the commission districts pursuant to a Kansas statute. Um, would you like to tell us anything about this, Janet? Sure. Um, we are obligated by statute um, every year to, to bring this item for a discussion. 
Um, although, unless we're on it um, on the 10-year um, cycle of the census, um, we don't really have any new data to work with. So unless we know of something that caused a large change in the commission districts, there really isn't much change that we can do. Um, we did make an amendment to this um, several years ago and did slightly, very, very slightly realign the districts just a little bit. But for the most part, they stayed the same. Um, our population overall um, over the last year has not changed very much and we've not had any significant growth any in any particular place in the county so um, I think we have to put this on a study session just because that's the statute but there's likely to be no change in it right. does everyone uh, uh, I guess there's nothing to approve so we don't need to vote if that's correct, but uh, is there a consensus that um, absent any uh, evidence of any explosive growth somewhere, or really just one place in the county to make the districts uneven? All right. Well, we'll look at it again next year. All right. As far as the reorganization meeting goes, that brings us to considering a motion for adjournment, and then we could uh, open our study session. Is there a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned. <laughs>